everybody this is money mom welcome back to the channel today I wanted to talk to you guys about some good news and how I've lost close to 75 pounds in 10 months or a little over 10 months let's get started the first one is a recent change and that's why I wanted to share it with you guys first of all appreciate your support on this journey thank you very much the very first thing that I've done, which is recent, for, you guys know I've been doing the sanitation jobs. I'm very grateful for the opportunity. The thing that I feel was kind of slowing my weight loss down a little bit, and why I only lost five pounds in two months, is this. I was doing it, working from 12.30 to 6.30. By the time I got home and ate something, sometimes it was a quarter to eight. And I've noticed when I eat later at night, it slows my weight progress. Now that I'm working from home Monday through Friday and doing the sanitation on weekends, the good news is, is I finished eating about 6.20, no later than 6.30. And so me finishing eating, I would say an hour and a half earlier, I feel like is better for me. One of my best tips is if you can eat by 7 o'clock, in my book, from my personal experience, I notice that I lose weight quicker. So that's my number one tip because I'm now into the 180s. Yes, thank you. The other thing is number two, for me I do this. Now some people won't consider this intermittent fasting. I generally eat between 2 and 6.30, which is in a four and a half hour intermittent fasting. Some people might not consider I do intermittent fasting because I do have some coffee and some half and half in the morning. I don't add sugar or anything to it, but I do have that. So some technically, really it might not be, but I don't eat anything until two. So I've trained my body. I really feel like that intermittent fasting helps me because I eat a larger amount, which kind of goes along with the intermittent fasting. I used to graze and now I eat a larger amount so that it stays with me and keeps me satiated full before I get to my next meal because it's all about stopping those cravings. I really feel like many folks that are on a weight loss journey, I know what this feels like. They feel like it's a punishment and it's drudge and they dread doing it. We have to make it where you enjoy it and it's something you feel like you can do the rest of your life. I know some of you are not thrilled that I eat some of the packaged foods. The main thing is this, in these 10 months, I've made a lot of improvements. I have a long way to go. This is a life journey. Maybe next year at this time, I won't be using any of that stuff. But for right now, if it helps keep me on track, when I look at how I used to eat and what I eat now, and I should do a video on that, you're going to be shocked at what I used to eat. And I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to do a video on that because I would like, it be it's going to be eye-opening for you. So number two, intermittent fasting and eating a larger amount so that I don't get constant cravings. Number three, I'm not doing strict keto. I call it modified. I probably shouldn't even label it that. But I eat a higher fat, higher protein diet and I keep below the 100 carbs. The average person has three to 400 carbs. I stay below 100. I am incorporating more vegetables now into my diet because I feel like I need some more of those carbs and I feel more energetic and better when I have them. And so I do have more vegetables now in my diet. And number four, I really make sure that my meals have some high fat and some protein in there. For example, the cottage cheese fills me up. Sometimes I'll make something with some half and half or full fat whipping cream, some raw almonds, Salmon is one of my favorite things. That'd be something else or some chicken breast. Something that's going to fill me up that's going to stay with me. Eggs would be an example of that. So I think about those types of things. And if I have a dessert, I just have a very small amount so that it doesn't get my cravings going. So these are the four tips I have. My advice to anyone that wants to go on a health journey is be gentle to yourself. Start out small. Think about, is this something I can do for the rest of my life? That is something really important to ask yourself. Now, before letting you go, I'm doing a shout out to a girl named Jessica V. She's all about, it's a channel and it's on vintage, everything vintage. But the reason why I thought you'd like it is she has some 
videos on vintage foods and recipes from the 1950s. She doesn't upload videos very often, but I think you guys would really enjoy those. If you decide to visit her, the videos are very short, let her know Money Mom sent you. That's all for now. Let me know some of your best weight loss or weight maintenance tips that are for life, not just temporary. This is Money Mom signing off, and as always, I love you. Bye-bye.